uh, these practice problems on page 48 using the definitions that we just worked on on page 47 and page 46. So I'm going to work through the I do and the we do. And when it comes time for the you do, check your answers with your teacher. So the first thing, the I do, the element named is sodium. And I need to know the periodic symbol. If I don't know it, I don't guess. I turn to table S and I find the name sodium and I look just to the side of it and it provides the PT symbol, which is NA. So to go from the element name to the periodic symbol, don't guess, look it up on table S. So now from table S, I can flip back to the periodic table. So I'm gonna go now for the mass, I'm gonna look at the periodic table. So I find the symbol NA over on the left-hand side of the periodic table, and I look for mass information. And when I look on the periodic table, it gives me a mass value that's several decimal places out. So it says 22.98977. But the mass, it needs to be written as a whole number so I would round 22.98977, and I would say the mass of this atom is 23. Now I look also on the periodic table, and I look at the atomic number, and the atomic number is that slightly large bolded number in NA's box. So this is the bolded number in its box, and it is listed as 11. And based on the definitions that we supplied, the atomic number, it represents the number of protons. So because I know sodium's atomic number is 11, I also understand it has 11 protons. The number of neutrons is not listed on the periodic table, but I understand that this mass is is because of the protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. So I might add that note. So the mass, this is equal to the protons plus neutrons. So I know that I can figure out the number of neutrons if I know the mass and the number of protons. So number of neutrons is equal to the mass minus the protons. So this would be 23 minus 11. And when I calculate that difference, 23 minus 11, my atom has 12 neutrons in its structure. Now, here we go. Now it's asking me for the number of electrons. So when I look up here at the directions, it says atoms. So all of these that we're working on in these practice problems are atoms atoms are neutral. So atoms are neutral. The two things that contribute charge to the atom are the protons contribute positive charge and electrons contribute the negative charge. And if it's an atom, the net charge, when I add up the positives to the negatives, it is neutral. The value is zero. So since these are atoms, the number of electrons equals my number of protons in an atom. So if I have 11 protons, in order for this to be a neutral atom, I must also have 11 electrons. The atomic symbol would be what we see on the previous page, X for the symbol, and then we need A and Z information. So my symbol is Na for this particular structure, sodium. A represents the position of the mass value, which is 23, and Z represents the atomic number, which is 11. Working through this, I'm going to work through the we do calcium. So I look on table S, I find the word calcium, and next to it I see the symbol is capital C, lowercase a. Now I look 
here, and I'm giving this mass value of 42. And when I look on the PT, so when I look on the periodic table, CA's position, I see there's a mass of 0 0.8. So in this case, that 40.08, this is the average mass of a calcium. The 42 is a mass number that is provided. It is the personal mass of this structure. So we use the 42 and we ignore the average data because we know the specific mass of this particular structure. Now the atomic number. I find uh, calcium CA's box on the periodic table and its atomic number is 20. The atomic number is defined as the number of protons so I know that it has 20 protons. The number of neutrons is not listed but I know it's mass minus the proton, so my mass in this case is 42 minus 20. So in this structure, I have 22 neutrons. So it's 22 neutrons, 20 protons. Once again, this is a calcium atom, and if it's an atom, it is neutral, so my number of electrons is equal to my number of protons, so if I have 20 positive charges or 20 protons, then I understand that I also have 20 electrons or 20 negative charges. The atomic symbol, this time for X, I replace X with Ca, calcium symbol. A is the mass. I know the specific mass of this, so I use the 42. And Z is the atomic number which happens to be 20. You work on the you do questions and check your answers with the teacher and also work on the multiple choice questions at the bottom of this page and check your answers also with your teacher.